Hi guys and welcome to another video on my art channel Sufki Art. This is actually the last video I'm pre-recording. It's not the last one you are going to see because I pre-recorded a lot of fairy tales because I love to do them and I thought they are cool and I hope you think they are cool too. But I wanted to sprinkle in some other videos and that's what this one is about. It's about my favorite technique at the moment and you have seen it a lot earlier on. But this time I'm truly focusing on it. I'm just showing you this technique and how awesome the things can turn out with this one. I started off by putting some not cool washi tape from Ikea on top, which isn't working like washi tape. Which is the reason why it didn't work at all and it bled through. But to be honest, it kind of looks cool the way it bled through. So you're going to see it later on. I just left because it fits the watercolor -y abstract vibe, kind of. You're going to see what I mean. Anyway, after trying to create a border, I started by making most of it wet with an you can just use normal water or you can also put paint already into it and then I added blobs of paint and see how the paint bleeds into the other paint and how they are mixing. And you can use if you want to s use salt or alcohol and create shapes with that and work with that and try out things and look at how they interact with each other. You can also use soap or something else. Just experiment with stuff. That's the right time to do it. And if it all gets too dark for you or you want to add another texture, just use some kind of paper towel and either just wipe some paint away or however you want to just press on it or whatever you like to. And in my case, I then added some details by just crumbling up the tissue and then put it in the paint, truly in the paint so it gets soaked with true paint. And then tap on top of the paper to create some cool shapes. This way you have a dark texture, but the main painting surface is just lighter and see throughher if you know what I mean and if I'm saying that correct. If not, I just invented words and that's fine too. Now we have some insider words. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm funny again. Yeah. Just do whatever you like to, as I always like to say. I'm giving you some ideas and you can make out of it what you want to. Those are just a few ideas how you can work with them. You can also add another layer on top or let layers dry and make several layers. You can make so much stuff with abstract watercolor. It's amazing. Just do what makes you happy, basically. That's what art should be for us. Making us happy. And yeah, after you are done with your background and you are happy with everything you can, start adding fine liner on top. You don't have to add fine liner. You can add whatever you want to, of course. You can also use a white pen if you decided to make a darker background or whatever. I decided to use fine liner and then I make my favorite flowers. You obviously don't have to use your flowers. You can use shapes that you want to. You can paint. I'm looking at books. You can paint books or you can basically just look into your room and see whatever inspires you in there and paint it on top. I just love flowers and I have some flowers that I really enjoy, like lavender or, oh gosh, how are they called? Wait a second, I'm just looking at how it's called. Okay, I'm back and I'm leaving that in because I think it's funny. If you don't like that, tell me that I'm stopping, then I'm stopping of leaving them in but I think it's funny okay anyway it's called red puppy and I think that's a really cool name it's called Mohnblume in German which is also interesting uh, but I think red puppy kind of has something maybe it's popping and I like that about it <laughs> also I'm truly sorry if you hear sounds in the background I always try to work them out afterwards but I or I try to not film or record my voice. 
while that is happening but I'm sitting here I especially made time for recording my voice and now the neighbors decided to work in the yard and cars are driving by and the plane is driving by and everything is so loud outside <laughs> I'm sorry basically but let's move back I like red poppies I like lavender and I also like these flowers that I have no idea what they are actually representing. I just got inspired by them once and now I make my own flower out of it and I have no idea what it's actually supposed to be. Yeah, you can basically get inspired by it but I have no idea what it's actually showing. It's just my power flower. <laughs> yeah. You can use whatever flower obviously you like. You can also make leaves or, <sighs> you know, whatever you want to. Leaves would probably also look pretty cool or grass or insects. Whatever you want to, you know, guys. I'm just thinking of ideas that could help you go outside maybe. That's a cool idea, huh? Make the background inside, make a few of backgrounds and then take the stuff outside. You only need to take a fine line on your artworks and then get inspired by what's around you. Use the summer. That's probably a pretty cool way to get art inside your home that reminds you of outside. And it's a cool way to get inspired. Even if you have art block, you can just take the stuff outside. Abstract always helps me when I have an art block because you don't really have to make something exactly and that always helps me and then you can take something from outside and you're not forced to think of something and you're not forcing yourself into something which always is bad when you have a block because you're just blocking off more when you're trying to fight against it try to not confront it that much but work around it and then the barrier can dissolve without it being such a force the way I can explain this is by, for example, starch with water. You know, it's that non newtonish fluid, which when you put force into it, it's just making a very hard barrier. But when you're gently and softly lifting it, it's super fluid. That's how I like to imagine an art block. Work around, be gentle with it. Don't try to force anything and you will see it's way easier. That's at least helping me. There's also a cool video from Emily Artful, for example. Marco Chino has also a cool one. Just type in art blog if you have one and that might help you. But that's basically all I have to tell you about today's video. As I am saying, this is the last one I'm pre-recording. The scroller books and upgrade ones are realist real time, not realistic. And the rest is pre-recorded for this whole year, I know. I will do new ones in the summer again. I'm still in the summer when I'm doing these. Just because med school, I haven't gotten an idea of how hard this year is going to be. It's probably fun, hopefully. I'm really excited for it. But maybe things will turn out differently. You never know. And this way I'm at least sure that you guys will have some videos. And I don't have to worry about that. And that's... <sighs> it's a good feeling for me and you guys will see another video next week a fairy tale on no, an upgrade to star claw box one and then a fairy tale video and i hope you like what i'm doing i'm really passionate about it and we will see each other in my next video bye